Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I went to our food bank, the one that you go inside, you wait in line, you go inside and you can choose the items you want. So the items you're about to see, I actually chose. So let's see what I chose. All right, so some of the cold items that we're gonna go through first so I can get them put away. We had some of these toaster scrambles. Um, I got three boxes. I believe that Cody will like them because she likes bacon and it's just bacon, egg, and cheese in a crust. Easy to grab and go breakfast for her. Um, I got three things of heavy cream. Uh, we use a lot of cream. Well, I feel like we use a lot. We add it to our hot drinks like um, hot chocolate or hot tea. Um, I use it to make fluff if you're not familiar with that. Um, but it's a low carb low sugar treat that my daughter really likes made with sugar-free jello heavy cream and cottage cheese anyway so we use quite a bit of that often and so then i picked up these two it's slow aged pepperoni paninos i guess rolled pepperoni with mozzarella cheese I thought those would be good snacks high protein really nice um i picked up one of these chicken parmigiana white chicken meat and penny pasta. Um, this is something we could just microwave at dance. You could just take it and you could just eat it there or at home if I'm not feeling well because sometimes in late day I get super exhausted and I just don't have the energy to cook which is why I like soup because I can put it in the crock pot and yeah. All right. I picked up this Alcapoco style steak quesadilla home chef kit. Super excited about that. Some fresh grapes. Um, look at my tulips from, gosh, like, I don't even know how many days ago I got in at a food drive. And they're still so beautiful. I love them because they're purple. And my mom's favorite color was purple. And they just remind me of my mom. I miss her. Oh. Okay, no crying on a food haul. All right. So I also, ooh, there's an onion petal. Um, I got three packs of pork it looks like it's just uh pork stew it says for chili verde oh i didn't even think of that that'd be good i was just thinking like for soup just put it in there like or pulled pork but it's already small pieces like stew meat but pork so i got three packs of those maybe that's what i'll put in my soup i don't know i'm making soup today i have to i need soup so bad i was just telling mitch i need soup i got two packs of these two they're smaller packs well Small for us. I mean, it's not like the big giant packs. Uh, ten breast tenders, chicken breast tenders, and then one bigger pack of breast fillets. So that's our chicken, and then this breakfast sausage. One pack of that. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and cook that up right now for Mitch for breakfast, and then four of. Um, beef steak hamburgers uh this looks like an eye around roast that's really good in the slow cooker uh for i use it to make like steak fajitas or something it's so good and then this ginormous pack of ground beef so my large meat beef i got this one and um i was like it's frozen solid but it's so good oh my gosh we eat a lot of ground meat um, and so I think I'm going to cook all this today. I'm going to let it thaw out, cook it all, and then bag it in smaller portions. So then all I have to do is just take it out and it's ready to go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get all my cold stuff put away. Um, if you would be so kind as to subscribe if you're not already and leave in the comments what you would do with this pork stew meat. So I'm not going to use it today. I'm going to stick this in my freezer, but I'm going to wait to hear what you guys say because I'm, I have so many ideas for chicken, but not a lot for pork. So what would you do with this pork stew meat? All right. Let me know in the comments. My goodness, we have so much good stuff today. All right. First, we're going to look at my flowers one more time. They're so pretty. Okay. I got five containers. There was a limit, five. So I took the five oat milk. Um, it's just original flavored. A box of cinnamon toast crunch. I got two cans of refried beans, two cans, sorry, 
three cans of SpaghettiOs, three cans of chili. Here's another can of refried beans. So I must have got three, three, and three. <laughs> All right. And then a can of olives. And I got one, two, three, four, five. Five cans of albacore tuna and three cans of like chicken spam. It's lunch meat made with chicken instead of uh, pork, I guess. I don't know what spam is made out of. It's just meat in a can. Canned meat. This is canned meat. But it's chicken. Then I got this fully cooked beef in water. It was randomly sitting by green beans. And I was like, hmm, that looks interesting. Uh, this here, bulletproof. Super Keto Sustained Energy Fat Burning Fuel Fewer Cravings Brain Octane C8 MTC Oil I know nothing about it but I've just heard a lot of talk about Bulletproof and I was like hmm interesting it's just fat liquid I guess I don't know but I got that I picked that up I picked up two bags of this uh, Rob's Backstage Popcorn Sweet and salty. I have bought one of these at the Walmart, and I really thought it was pretty good. Not to buy it a second time, but I will take it. <laughs> and then two bottles of Prime. Um, my daughter doesn't like the lemon lime that much, but she likes Prime, and so she will drink it. And then it's kind of like Gatorade, but I think it's less calories and sugar and stuff. And then five cans of Diet Coke. Um, I also was able to get two jars of ginger, and it was, there was a limit of two, and that was the only spice that they had, so I just took two of those. I got this little container of Skippy peanut butter, not because it's anything special, um, just I like the size of the jar. I want to use it for something once we use all the peanut butter. And then, um, I was able to get two jars of this ghee, which... Mitch is really liking a lot when he's making his um, pemmican. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link here somewhere. You guys go check out his pemmican video. Yeah, he, he made his own ghee, and then he made pemmican. It's pretty good. All right, and I got one jar of Duke's mayonnaise. I've heard of it, but I've never had it. I don't even know where, what state it's from because I've never really seen it around here. All right, I think that was everything except all these items out here. They were in a bag. If you've been watching my channel for a while, this food bank has grab bags. And I was able to get one today. And this stuff was all in it. So we'll start over here. There was a peaches and berry bramble. Energizing balance of peaches and raspberry in oatmeal. And then there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of this liquid IV, a little drama llama, um, Valentine's candy, a couple packs of strawberry and cream oatmeal, a pack of sprouted pumpkin seeds with sea salt, hot and spicy shrimp noodles, cup of noodle, um, a one can of beanie weenie, a chewy granola bar with chocolate chips, apple cinnamon, applesauce with cinnamon, and then just a plain applesauce. Yeah, you can tell the difference. Um, there was this pack of gum, spearmint gum, with no sugar added, sugar-free. That was cool. A bunch of just little random things. A little Chuckles gummy candy, a little um, Three Musketeer Almond Joy. What is this? Hard candy with bubble gum inside. <laughs> okay, never seen that one before. And this is Manito... De la Suerte, uh, cherry strawberry lollipop, so it's like just a sucker, and then here's another sucker, looks like it might have gum inside of it, and some Gushers, a pack of Gushers, a pack of Cheez-Its, two double packs of beef jerky Slim Jims, two packs of Smoky Serrano flavored almonds, oh my gosh, does that not sound amazing? I may have to put my teeth in later and have some of those. <laughs> and two Capri Suns, Fruit Punch, and Strawberry Kiwi. There was three of these um, squeeze fruit things. <laughs> Unsweetened applesauce. And then apple cinnamon and just apple apple. And then two bags of this uh, Tiny Tony's Chocoloni. Choc... Choc... 
Chocolonely. Chocolonely. Um, it says, put your clothes on. Sheesh, she almost was feeling salty. I don't know if they have jokes on them, but they're just individually wrapped. I'm assuming little tiny chocolates. I don't know. We've never had these, but I think Cody will like them. Um, but yeah, that is all of our stuff that we got today. All right, so I totally forgot about the non-food items. <laughs> I bagged those separate and I wasn't in a rush because they're not having to get in the fridge. I don't know if someone donated it half used or what, but we were allowed to take one item from the shelf and this is the item that appealed to me. So I took this, I believe it is dish soap, but it says, uh, fresh, fresh tastic grease remover, removal plus bleach alternative. The gain I feel like is a laundry soap. So I'm not going to do dishes with it. I'm going to wait. I'm going to Google maybe, or if you guys know for sure, let me know. Not for use in dishwashers. So I'm assuming it's like dish soap, but I don't know. I've never used it. Let me know if you guys have. And then I got this body wash, deep moisturizing. My skin is so dry. Hopefully that will work. And then this I've also never used before. I've seen them, but it's a disinfecting mist. So you just, I guess, spray it and then wipe down your counters and stuff. And so I was excited to get that. Lemongrass and mandarin. I bet that smells so good. One box of uh, puffs, uh, tissues, one roll of toilet paper, and then soap to take a bath with. These look interesting, so I just picked them up. The other option was ivory, which we have some, but I thought this looks good. I mean, it will. It looks interesting. I don't know if it is good. Um, I've never heard of it. It says it's relaxing and nourishing. Our unique blend of moisturizing wild honey, nutrient-rich black seed and apricot oils gently cleanses and exfoliates while smoothing and hydrating the skin. Shea butter rich in essential vitamins and fatty acids is superb. Is a superb moisturizer that helps minimize the look of minor skin imperfections. Oh my goodness. It smells pretty good. So is that going to help so I look less flawed when y'all look at me? Well, we'll give it a go. I'm willing to try. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And yeah, we'll see you in our next video.